Ooh, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Halloween season and I am all too excited to brush off a really cool deck, which is Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas deck. I actually have two of these decks. This is the special edition one where the box is actually shaped like a coffin. So that is really, really neat. Love this deck a lot. Well, actually, I don't love it a lot. I'm actually not that big of a fan of the Nightmare Before Christmas, but I know many of you guys are, so you guys can tune in and see if this card deck is one that you'd like to add to your collection. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but I have these cards posted um, every day on Instagram, Facebook, and also on Pinterest too, so you can see them. Woo! Wow, a lot of stuff going on already with the cards for this week. Okay, I'm going to pull out all five of the cards Monday through Friday for this week. Let's see. Okay. These cards, these cards, I can tell I haven't used them a lot because it's very difficult for the cards that want to come out to come out. It's like, I, I feel like I should have like used them more and have shuffled them more. It's very crazy. The, um, the feeling that I'm getting with this, um, card deck, but anyways, we are going to start. Ooh, this is Monday's card is the king of candles i love i wonder if this is um trying to go as the king uh, uh sorry the king of swords probably is what i'm guessing here which is equivalent in the tarot see that, that is the king of wands but i'm really getting more of the king of of swords so anyways on monday first off if you have any kind of halloween plans that are sitting there and you're debating about doing them i really get that feeling like just go ahead and do them like you really need to like get out more and the people that you're going to be surrounding yourself with is very very needed in your life right now okay and so that is one of the things that's coming up and the other thing that is coming up is going to be a father figure so this actually might be somebody that is past or somebody that is currently living, but there's a very, very strong father figure near you. And I feel like they're trying to make sure that you are tuning into your own father as well, like their own internal father. So what I mean by that is that we each have our own internal parents, you know, the mom that's very nurturing. And we also have like the father part within us that is more of like disciplinarian. And this is what it's saying. It's like stay disciplined and then also keep going and doing what you set out to do. Hold yourself accountable, especially on a Monday, okay? Also just watch out for people not having your best interest at heart, making sure that you know the what's best for you. And so to make sure that you have those choices and watch out for energy vampires, people who are sucking your energy out of you. Okay. Now we're moving on to Tuesday's card, which is the V of potions. And I'm really sure that this is the five, the, the five of pentacles, which is really good. But the only thing is, is that this one is really showing me that maybe things haven't worked out the way that you planned, or maybe there's some kind of disappointment there that, you know, you just, I'll just see reaching out to somebody else. So either, either they were wrong, or maybe you should have reached out to somebody else because on Tuesdays, there is that kind of energy that's going on there, but there is also movement. So that means that things are not necessarily set in stone. So going ahead and still moving forward, even though there was a mistake or something didn't happen the way that, that you had hoped for. Okay. They're also saying too, that you're not in as bad a position as you might have thought. And they're also showing me too, oh, I don't know why I'm just saying this, but be careful of your drinking and your alcohol, okay? So I'm not sure if you're just partying too hard on the weekends or anything like that, but your body really can't handle like it used to. Um, I also feel like deficiencies within your body to almost like get your blood work done as well. And just kind of keep in mind that a lot of times in past, we need it to be on more of the higher side. So keep that in mind. And I also see a book too. So if this is a book that you've been thinking about reading or a book that you're thinking about writing. This is your green light for the book. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gotta tell you what I'm getting. All right. On Wednesday is the eight of candles. Ooh, that is really, really good. The first thing that's coming up for this card is talking about making sure that you keep your thoughts on what you do want as opposed to on what you don't want. Okay. Also feeling too, I'm actually literally feeling candles. So I'm not sure if somebody has a candle problem. You just bought too many candles. There's a situation going on with candles. I 
figure, I mean this literally, not just figuratively, there is an issue with candles as well. I'm also getting pets in this um, as well. So making sure that you are, you know, taking them to the vet and things like that. I don't feel like there's anything that you should worry about, but I do feel that there is a lot of um, concern around pets and just to know that everything is going to work out as it should. Um, not to worry so much. And I also feel too, maybe like a second opinion with a vet if he's giving you a really high cost or just knowing that there's some kind of pay payment plan too that you could possibly do. And someone needs to get to the dentist. Do you need to make an appointment? Do you need an appointment? I actually guide you. So maybe you need to make an appointment as well. All right, so Thursday's card is the page of candles. Whew, a lot of candles coming up this week. I am actually going to see what this one says. This is candles. Let's see what it says. And let's see what actual page that it is on in the book. Okay. All right. The page of candles. The page of candles represents someone who is full of fresh, innovative, creative ideas. He's ready to soar, but he may not have a solid, stable foundation necessary to move forward and bring those ideas to life. And it is number 60 and 61 in the guidebook, which I'm pretty sure that's the age that my Aunt Betty was. I believe that she was 61 years old when she passed. So I'm always going to be thinking about her when I see that. And that could also relate to somebody as well in your life. And so just know, though, that you have a lot of ideas, it's time to start laying a foundation for them on Thursday. So on Thursday, instead of thinking, you know, oh, oh my God, I got to start over, I got to do this or whatever, like, think about laying a good foundation. And every house, every car, you know, it all starts with a good foundation, a good frame, and that's what you're doing. Keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Okay, now we are moving on to Friday's card, which is the Justice card, which is the only major arcana card that showed up in our reading. So on Friday, big major changes are available to you if you want to make them. I also feel like with this justice card, legal stuff. So legal stuff maybe hopefully coming to an end, getting some sort of, what is it called, resolution with some of these um, items, these things that you might be fighting about. Just definitely watching out for contracts that you're signing, making sure that you are looking at the fine print. Um, I also do see like some kind of seminar or event, you know, some kind of like fundraiser maybe that you will be going to that, you know, where the speaker will really just speak to you or they will have something in common with one of your past loved ones. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind. I feel like that's a little bit of a high that they are saying to you. And I really feel really good energy though on this Friday and I also see the number 11 so 11 11 make a wish so if you see that that is your sign and anything else I don't know why but if anybody is debating about trick-or-treating or going to that party like it, it's a big yes it's a big yes across the board so when I'm looking at the cards that came up for this week um, I really feel about looking at the bigger picture, not getting caught up in the small stuff, but I feel a lot of us getting caught up in the small stuff and just kind of knowing that, you know, it's just no use. It's just no use of worrying, of thinking about what's going to happen. There's already like so much to be grateful for. And that's what your spirit guides really want you to know. Um, and make sure that you could carve a jack-o'-lantern this year. I don't know. I feel like somebody needs to hear that. Maybe it's something that Trisha that you used to do or used to do before they passed, but I really feel like they're talking about painting that jack-o'-lantern or carving it out. There's something uh, also there. I feel like maybe you're not good at it or something, but anyways, I feel that. Also feel some music and get into the holiday spirit. So I really feel a lot of our past loved ones around us for this week, and I really feel like their advice is to, you know, play music and have fun and to allow yourself more time to play that we've been working so hard all the time and now it's just time to play to relax and not take things so seriously okay so if someone told you that something is going to happen or whatever and they feel this way and feel that way you know just take it with a grain of salt because i really feel like you've got a handle on the situation and so does spirit so even if you don't know what the heck's going to happen then spirit does and you're going to be taken care of 
All right. Well, I have enjoyed giving you this reading. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope you accepted it. And then be sure to check it out on Facebook each day so that you can comment or like a post to to really absorb that message to be like, hey, spirit, I heard you. I understand that this is a message for me and I am going to follow through on any of the action or inaction that spirit has guided you to make or not to make. All right. I had so much fun and I am going to be seeing you on Wednesday for another episode right here. And also I'll be seeing you live for Coffee and Crime. See you then. Bye.